Hey friends, it's Kate here. Sorry for a little pause there. It always takes me a minute to make sure I know it's actually working. I am here with another lovely little live class. I know it's been a while, I've had a busy summer, um, but I'm finally back to more regular schedule. So I figured I'd start doing a few live classes again. Um, I'm just gonna do a great Pilates yoga fusion. I haven't moved at all today, so this is one that you're gonna be practicing with me. Now, I did place a set of three pound weights and a yoga strap nearby. Um, you can use those if you don't have them. I hope you know that you can always modify for yourself and that's awesome too. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Come to your mat. We'll begin at the back. Just let your fingertips dangle by your side. Close your eyes. Stand a little taller and straighter. Take a nice deep inhale. Big breath out. Another full inhale. Big sigh out. Seal the lips together, breathe through your nose. Dip your chin to your chest, just let it dangle. Think about lifting the back of your head up high. Actively reach your fingertips down to the ground. You may or may not choose to blink your eyes open. And slowly and gently just roll your ear from the right back down and then over to the left just waking up the chest the neck nothing big nothing crazy and eventually bring your chin back down to chest pause take a big inhale as you exhale bend your knees start to round forward let your fingertips dangle and begin to find your deepest forward fold Pause there for just a moment. Let yourself hang. Allow your shoulders to fall away from each other. Nod the head yes. Shake it no. And then slowly roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, stand tall and straight. Exhale again, chin to chest, bend the knees. Slowly roll yourself all the way down. Look through the legs. You don't have to be in, in as deep of a forward fold as I am. You might start to push your hips right and left. Eventually come back to center. Roll all the way up. One more time. Roll down. Take all the time you need. Really melt through the back of your body. Notice if there are any kind of sticky spots, if it felt like there's a tightness somewhere. Can you breathe a little deeper into it? Maybe ask that body part to relax a little more. And then eventually pause, look to the top of the mat, and let's just come down to a tabletop. And start to cat and cow, waking up the spine a little bit more. That can be as big or small as you like. Now we can keep that cat and cow traditional, but it can also feel nice to wake up our side body a little bit here, maybe looking over one shoulder back to your hip, and then same thing, other side. It's almost kind of like you're wagging your tail behind you. Come back to center, pause, take your left hand a little closer to the center of your mat right in front of your nose, reach your right hand up and just stretch your fingertips high. Maybe wiggle the fingers. You might look down to your hand on the floor or up to your hand in the sky. Take a big inhale. Big breath out. Thread the needle. Drop your right shoulder down to the mat. And pause there for a moment. You might adjust the placement of your left hand. Maybe it feels good to stretch it out in front of you, away from your body. Take a full big inhale, big breath out. Take the hand back closer to yourself. If you've reached it away, reach your right hand up. Set it on the ground. Now right hand comes a little closer to the center of your body as you lift your left hand high. And I'm not too picky right now about what your hips are doing. If they kind of twisted or reaching over to one side, they're not as center as normal, that's okay. As you feel ready, start to thread the needle. And again, we might adjust the placement of our hand, stretching it further away. I might be smashing my mic. I apologize if I am. Full big breath. 
Big sigh out. And slides back in. Reach your left hand all the way up. Now this time, extend your uh, right foot behind you. Tucking the toe is pushing the heel back and I want you to point your left toe behind you or towards the left as we again reach our right hand high. Now we're gonna wake up our shoulder a little bit more, rolling it around, just moving it at your own pace, in your own time. You might look up to the sky. Circle your hand in the opposite direction. And then take it overhead for a beautiful big side body stretch. Navel in, ribs open, big inhale. Big breath out. Take your hand back down to the mat. Knee returns as well. Extend your left foot behind you. Tuck the toes. Now I swing my right toe to the right and I stack my hips, lifting my left hand high. You can take it overhead. You could start to circle the arm around, finding some movement through your shoulders, your chest, both directions. And again, we can take it all the way up and then over in line with your ear, really fanning open your left ribs. Big inhale, big breath out. Slowly bring everything back down to the mat. We're gonna go ahead and take a seat. And if you've got your yoga strap, we'll use it. If you don't, you can grab a towel, a blanket. We're just gonna wake up our chest a little bit more. First thing in the morning, I always feel very tight. This is such a simple way to open up my shoulders. Pull onto the strap and I have it a little bit wider than my own shoulders. And all I want us to do is reach it up overhead. Bring it down in front of you. And if you don't have anything that you can hold on to, you can just take your hands straight up in front of you and actively reach them up and down. Now the next time that you reach your hands up, pause. And I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me a little bit better. All I want us to do is take a big inhale and a little stretch over to the right. Kind of melt your body over to that side. Now notice, did you curl in and kind of look down at your knee? Can we stack our shoulders? Can we open up across the chest a little bit more? Big, deep breath. Exhale, pull yourself upright. Same thing, other side. Really fan open the ribs. I'm thinking about all of those little um, bones of mine on my rib cage kind of opening apart from one another. Come on all the way up. Now again, I'm gonna turn so you can see me. You can stay in whatever direction works for you. Three times, try to push your hands back behind you. Bring it back overhead. Push the hands back behind you. Bring it back overhead. Last one, push it back, pause. Now, I will tell you, I often do this when I'm standing in my kitchen with a dish towel. You do not need fancy props to give yourself stretches. And sometimes if you're cooking or doing dishes, you might be hunched over. This feels so good. Go ahead and try and bend your elbows like a little cactus. If your yoga strap or uh, dish towel hits you on the head, that's okay. It's nice and soft. Push your hands up to the sky. Bend your elbows like a little cactus. Push your hands up to the sky. Last one, bend like a little cactus, pause. Great big full inhale. Dip your chin to your chest. Find that stretch to the back of the neck. Let it go, reach the band all the way up and over. We'll set this off to the side. We might come back to it later for our legs, for our hips. But otherwise, just take a nice tall seat. Open up across the chest. Slide your ears a little higher. Both hands lift high. Take a twist to the right. Right hand goes back, left hand goes forward. Part your fingertips. Pretend like I am pulling your wrist apart while you pull the tips of the shoulder blades together. You might even drop your right hand behind you. Lift your gaze, lift your fingers, and think about your sternum, your heart, trying to reach up to the sky. Full big breath. Exhale, come on upright. Unravel. Same thing other side. Start with your twist. Maybe this side, this is as far as we go. That's awesome. Maybe you're ready to lean back, to stretch the fingers up. Maybe you roll the shoulder and really puff your heart and chest up. Big, deep breath. Exhale, come on up. Both hands swim high. Once more, let's return to our tabletop. Navel in, chest open. Extend your right foot behind you. 
Lift the foot, toe can be pointed, flexed, or soft. Take a moment here, you know what I'm gonna say. No Beyonce booty, so do not arch your back. Think about lifting your tummy and broadening across the chest. Big inhale. Exhale, pull knee to nose, round in. Inhale, reach head and tail away. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach out. Three more, exhale, curl in. Reach out and away. Last one, pull in, reach out and away, pause, broaden across the chest, pull the navel up and in, squeeze your thigh butt connection point, take a nice big inhale, teeny tiny circles of our lifted right leg around five, four, three, two, one, pause, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, pause, keep your hips stable, no hula dancing, no shimming of the shoulders. Pause, last time, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Now from here, all I want us to do is start to lift the heel a little bit higher. Now I'm only lifting my heel up so high that I do not arch the back. I don't bend the elbows, I'm pushing away, I'm keeping my tummy lifted. And I really want you to focus on squeezing your thut. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point so hard you could hold a pencil there. Take a nice big inhale. Think about pulsing your right thigh up to the sky for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Take a big breath, set the leg on the ground. Take a little wiggle, a little swivel. And then as you feel ready, extend your opposite foot away, float it up. Toe can be pointed, flexed or soft. No matter where it is, I want you to grow along from your ears, through your side body, out your toe. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, curl, push head and toe away. Exhale, curl in, reach head and toe away. Three more in and out. Two more in and out. Last one, pull it in, reach out, Hold, navel, spine, chest open, teeny tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one, pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, squeeze your thut, open up across the chest, keep your hips so still. Pause last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Navel in, spine long, shoulders open, squeeze your thut harder, start to pick up the leg a little higher. Your leg might be higher or lower than mine. It's really not about the height of the leg. It's the activation of our glutes, of our hips, of our hamstrings. Now lightly pulse your thigh up to the sky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, squeeze your thut, Trim your waist. Really think about just pulsing the thigh up. No worries about what the foot is actually doing. Pause. Last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Set everything down. Open the knees, push back to a child's pose. Crawl your fingertips away. Let your head fall into the floor. Maybe tent the fingertips so you can get a little stretch there for your wrists. Big deep breath. Big sigh out, roll yourself up to a seat. Go ahead and take your feet out in front of you. You might scooch towards the front edge of your mat, hands behind the thighs, roll the shoulders back, pick up the ears a little bit higher. Notice, does it feel like we can plant our feet into the floor? You can always flex the feet. I know some of my students feel better with the heels down. If it feels really challenging to sit right here, you might roll up your mat or sit up on top of something, giving a little bit more space for your hips, your hamstrings. Always remember, you can modify, friends. You don't have to look like me the whole time we're here. Hands behind the thighs, though. Though, Open up across the chest. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, tip off your sitting bones. Rock into our Pilates C-curve. 
roll all the way up. Go ahead and do that a couple of times. If a Pilates C curve is a new term for you or a new position, I like to think of it as if I was Glenda the Good Witch and I was in my beautiful pink bubble, if I sat down because I was tired, my back would touch the circumference of the bubble. So when I'm leaning back, I rock off my tail bones or off my sitting bones and I reach my sacrum towards the ground. This next time, lean back and pause. Notice if you're caving your chest in, can you open up a little bit more? Could we reach our fingertips away? Pretend I'm standing right in front of you. I'm holding onto your wrist. I am pulling your wrist forward. You are resisting and trying to reach your sacrum further back. Take a big, full inhale. Big breath out. Another big inhale. Big breath out five times. Can you slide your hands open to a great big T? Exhale, pull the thumbs back towards one another. Inhale, slide the hands open. Exhale, wrap the tummy in and close. Three more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Last one, open. Exhale, close, pause. Cinch your waist more. Try to press down into your feet or your heels, whatever's touching the floor. Maybe lean back just a teensy bit more. Take a big inhale. Exhale, roll all the way up. Beautiful. Again, tip off your sitting bones, rock back into your Pilates seat curve. We can have our hands behind our thighs for this one if we need that support, or we can keep them out and away. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, stomp into your left foot. See if you can pick up your right leg. Set it on the ground. Exhale, pick up the left leg. Set it on the ground. Now notice, as I lift and lower my leg, it's not really the knee, well the knee is moving in space, but it's my thigh that's kind of trying to draw itself up to my chest, and then I bring it down. What I don't want to happen is like a can-can move from our knees. It's our whole thigh lifting up and our whole thigh lowering. Of course, our legs are working to pick themselves up, but I'm thinking about a punch to the gut every time I pull the leg up. I wrap the tummy in. I cinch the waist more. You have got this, friends. Now, the next time that we set our left foot down, pause. Take a big inhale. Roll all the way up. Take an easy seat. Broaden across the chest, swim the hands nice and high. All I want us to do is drop our right hand down to the ground and take a lovely side stretch over. Now you might keep your ooh, right hand straight, you might bend the elbow, that's okay. Circle your straight arm around, find some movement through your shoulders. Again, I'm always very tight through my upper body because I kind of sleep curled up in a ball. Um, my shoulders often need lots of movement in the morning. Circle your arm in the opposite direction. Or I'm sitting at my computer answering emails first thing in the morning and I'm hunched over. So by the time I get my first movement in, I am ready to open up my upper body. Lean over, push yourself up. Same thing other side. We'll take that great, big, beautiful stretch. And then we can pause or we can start to find some movement. Do your thing, big or small, fast or slow. Maybe on this side we need a few more in one direction. Maybe you're ready to switch. And then push yourself right back up. Flip the palms, push them down. If you've got weights, grab them. If you don't, we'll just activate our upper body and that's awesome too. You can stay seated like I am or sit in another position, but pull your elbows to your sides. Shoulders roll down the back, ears lift high. Wrap the tummy in, take a big inhale, exhale, push the arms away, pull them right back in. Exhale, push the arms away, pull them right back in. Exhale, open and close. Reach, release. For four and three, two more. Last one. Now find a little tiny bend right there. Take a big, deep breath. 
Exhale, pull your weights towards one another, slide them right back open. We'll keep that tiny bend in our elbow, and what I want you to concentrate on is keeping your chest open. No caving in or leaning back. We're lifting our ears higher. We're pulling our navel in. We want to have beautiful posture all day long, and we can strengthen those upper body muscles to help get us there. Two more in and out. Last one, pause. Lift the elbows up. They're in line with my shoulders. My ears are lifting higher, rolling them down the back. Take a big inhale. Little kind of pulses of your weights up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Five times, slide your arms open to a great big cactus. Exhale, pull them in. Now what I don't want to happen is our spine to kind of roll around. We wanna keep lifting our ears up higher, cinching our waist so our abdominal muscles are working so hard. Three more, and two, Last one, open out, pause, take a big inhale, set the weights down on either side of your mat. Start to lay all the way back, plant your feet into the floor, take your hands further away from your body, open up across your chest. Let's do a few rounds of bridge, just getting used to the fact that we'll be waving through our spine, waking up the low body a little bit more, noticing especially as you roll your hips back down. Do your shoulders want to cave up? Do they want to lift away from the floor? Resist that feeling. Push the shoulder blades down. This next time, lift into your bridge and hold. This is not a yoga bridge where we're going to open up across our ribs, but instead, we're wrapping them in. We're cinching the waist. We're squeezing our thut once more. Take a nice big inhale. Big breath out. Hold right here, feeling strong and powerful. Can you pick up your right heel? Set the right heel down. Pick up your left heel. Set the heel down. Go ahead, lift right. Drop it down, lift left. Drop it down, again right. Last one, left heel lifts, pause. Pick up the right heel as well. Squeeze your thut, try to push your hips a little higher. Keep your heels lifted like you've got giant stilettos on underneath you. Roll the hips all the way down to the ground. Inhale, lift right back up, keeping those heels nice and high. Roll the hips and chest all the way down. Inhale, lift right back up. Three more, roll all the way down. Lift up, two more, last one, roll down, pick your hips up, pause, squeeze your thut, point your nose to the sky, take a great big full breath, five times, both heels down, both heels lift, both heels down, both heels lift, three more down and up, two more down and up. Last one, lift, pause. All the way down we go. Feel your low back connect to the mat. Let's keep our heels lifted and pick up your right foot. We want a 90 degree angle right there. See if you can keep your hip right over, I'm sorry, your knee right over your hip. You can either keep the ball of your toe touching the floor. We could set the heel down if we need a little more support or if we wanna make it a wee bit more challenging, you can point your toe and just barely hover the toe there. Now, if while we're lying, and I'm gonna take my head, hands over my head so you can see me, if while we're lying here, you start to feel like you are arching the back and we're tucking your chin in, that does not feel or look pretty in our body. Instead, we need to focus on low back, touching the mat, space between chin and chest, nose to the sky. Tap your toe down towards the bottom edge of the mat, exhale, pick up the knee. Just like we did with our Pilates C curve, this is not a can-can move. I'm not really bending and straightening at the knee. Instead, it's my hip. My thigh moves away, my thigh comes back up. Thigh moves away, thigh comes back up. For three, and two, 
last one pause stretch your hands over your head they're facing one another like you're holding a present slide your hands up over your head so they're in your peripheral vision but still above your head tap your right toe down notice did your back arch do we need to adjust something to make sure it's not take a big inhale pull everything back to center again knee and hands away exhale pull back inhale stretch away exhale cinch the waist come back inhale open exhale close inhale open exhale close three and two last one pause navel in shoulders down see if you can take one weight if you've got it and you can hold it with both and then same thing inhale away exhale return inhale away exhale return really use your big exhale to activate those low tummy muscles three and two last one set your right toe on the floor set the weight down hands by your sides pick up your left leg and we'll start with just the left leg now again your right toe can barely be touching the uh, floor like mine is you could set the ball of the foot on the floor to give you more support you could set the whole foot down you are welcome to do what your body needs two more down exhale up last one down lift pause take your hands over head find that peripheral vision spot hold shoulders wrap down the back touch the toe to the floor exhale pull everything back in everything together everything returns stretch and lengthen exhale come back away and together away and together for three and two last one pause again if you want to make it a little harder grab your weight push it on up to the sky toe and weight exhale bring it back inhale away exhale bring it back open and close open and close for three and two last one hold right here take a big breath bring your right foot up squeeze the inner thighs together if there's some separation there not the end of the world but I do want them active and I want our legs to stay parallel right toe both hands exhale bring it back left toe both hands exhale bring it back if it is too much to have the feet lifted of course you could just set them on the floor and do one at the time that would be perfectly acceptable there's nothing wrong with modifying for your own body let's do one more set so finish out your left and then hold if that's enough we'll repeat exactly as we did before if you want to take it up a notch both toes away exhale pull it back both toes away exhale pull it back three and two last one lift pause set the feet on the floor take your weight down by your side lift your hips up find your bridge shoulders down nose high squeeze your thut trim your waist take a big inhale big breath out roll all the way down to the mat our feet and hips will remain in place take your fingertips up to the sky big inhale curl head and chest up take your hands down by your sides if you need a hand behind your head that's always okay look over the horizon of your knees and now flip the palms up to the sky it's almost like you're rotating from underneath the armpits take a big inhale exhale push the fingertips up drop them down exhale push the hands up drop them down exhale lift and lower exhale lift and lower three and two last one pause if we need to set our head and chest down that's great if you can try to lift the shoulders up a little higher cinching the waist more awesome too this time big inhale pick up the hands pick up the right foot set everything down exhale hands left foot set everything down exhale lift 
and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Last set. Last one. Foot down, head and chest down, hands over head. Big stretch. Keep the hands over your head as you again lift up into your bridge. Squeeze your thigh, trim your waist. Roll all the way down if we want to. Grab both of your weights if they're nearby. You can awkwardly get them like I just did. <laughs> Push the hands straight up to the sky, shoulders down the back. Navel pulls in. Full big inhale. Curl head and chest up, pause. If this is too much, set the weights down. Flip the palms once more. Think about rotating from underneath the armpits. Take a big inhale, exhale, push the hands over your knees, inhale, drop. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Lift and lower for three and two. Last one, add your legs, exhale, right leg, set it down. Left, lower down, cinch the waist, push it down, navel in, you got it. Two more sets. Last one, and you could of course do this with your head on the floor, and just do the arms and legs, that'd be great too. Pause, weights down. Head and chest down, stretch the hands over the head. Heel to the feet a little bit wider than your hips. Knock the knees together and take a nice, easy windshield wiper side to side. Now walk the feet back towards one another, belly button in, stretch your right leg up to the sky. Your toe can be pointed, flexed, or soft, but elongate the leg as much as possible. Turn on all the muscles. If there's a little bend in your knees, that's a-okay. But I want you to take your left hand, the opposite hand up to the sky. So we've got our right foot and our left hand. Can you reach your toe and your hand away? Notice, did we arch our back? I hope not. You can hover the leg and the foot up a little bit higher if we need to. Big inhale, exhale, pull everything back. Inhale, stretch open and away. Exhale, pull everything back. Only take the leg so low that we don't arch our back. Three more open, exhale, close. Two more open. Exhale, close. Last one, close, pause. If we want to make it more challenging, you can grab your weight. Inhale, open, exhale, pull it back. Inhale, open, exhale, pull it back. Reach and stretch, exhale, return. Reach and stretch, exhale, return. For three and two. Last one. Set the weight down, set your foot down, reach your left leg high. Again, elongate the leg as much as possible, turn on the muscles, maybe stomp down into your right foot to feel that side working hard. Right hand lifts, inhale away, exhale back. Inhale away, exhale back. Stretch and lengthen, return. Stretch and lengthen, return. For three and two, Last one, pause. We'll repeat with or without the weight. Reach away, exhale, pull. Reach away, exhale, pull. Lengthen, return. Lengthen, return. For three and two. Last one. Set the weight on the floor. Lift both feet up to the sky. Again, there can be a bend in the knee. There can be a little separation. Ideally, we're going for long straight legs, parallel lines, both fingertips reach. Now, this might be a little bit more of a mind tease than we anticipate, so it's okay if it feels a little awkward. You could also set your right hand down to make sure you don't move the right hand initially. It's our left hand and our right foot that are gonna move. Left hand, right foot. Exhale, pull it back. Just do that side. Inhale away. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale away. Exhale, pull it back. Stretch and lengthen. Return. Stretch and lengthen. Return. For three. And two. Last one. Pause. Now, left foot, right hand. Away. Pull it back away, pull it back, open, 
and close. Open and close. Three, two, last one. We will repeat, and if you're in the mood, we can take our weights in both hands. Once more, it's just gonna start with right foot, left hand. Right foot, left hand, exhale back. Open and close, open and close. You got this. Three, two, last one, other side. Open and close. Try to keep the leg and arm that aren't moving as still as possible. I'm sure mine are moving a little bit because I'm human, but I'm trying with all my might to just push them straight up to the sky and focus on the right arm and the left leg as they open and close. Last one. Open and close. Touch the weights together or touch your hands together, squeezing our thighs three times and slow. This is not quick. See if you can reach both hands and arms away. Exhale, pull everything back in. Inhale, see if you can stretch your hands and feet away. Exhale, pull everything back in. Last one, you got this. Reach everything out and away. Exhale, pull everything back, pause. Set the feet on the floor, set the weights on the floor. Lift up into your bridge. Big deep breath, big sigh out. Roll one vertebra at a time all the way down. Inhale, tip the hips, lift right back up. One vertebra all the way down. Inhale, lift all the way back up. Last time, roll down and pause. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug, a squeeze. Take a little rock and roll up to a seat. And we're going to come to a downward facing dog. Find whatever kind of downward facing dog works best for you. Remember that our dog is not about our heels coming down to the ground. It's more about a long, flat spine. So you can always bend the knees to extend and lengthen. Maybe we sway the hips a little as we arrive. Maybe you nod the head. See if we can reach the sitting bones up just a bit higher. Take a big deep breath, big sigh out. Three times can you roll forward into your plank pose. Exhale, return to your dog. Inhale, roll forward into your plank pose. Exhale, find your dog. Last one, plank. Exhale, dog, and pause. Now we'll step our right foot between our hands. If you want to pick up your right leg into a little three-legged dog and guide the knee forward, that's great. If you need to adjust the hand and scooch it up there, that's okay too. Find your down, uh, you, oh my gosh, not a downward facing dog now. Find your nice lunge and pause. Push the heel back further, almost point your right knee a little further in front of you and take your left hand firmly on the ground as you look over your right shoulder for a twist. Hand reaches up, give it a wiggle. Kind of like we did earlier today, you might circle your arm around, finding some movement through your shoulder. And then set the hand back down on the floor. Take a full big inhale, push down into your front foot and see if you can hover your fingers away. Notice, can we have a long line from our head to shoulders to hips down to the heel? Open up your fingers side to side, spread your little wings, lift your head and chest up. Are you arching your back? <laughs> Can we pull our navel in? Can you squeeze your thigh? If you need to modify where your feet are placed, go for it. That's totally fine. Wherever you are though, swim the hands high. Squeeze the inner thighs towards one another, grow an inch or two taller. Three times, exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, unravel. Again, twist to your right. Again, unravel. Last time, twist to your right. Unravel, pause. Navel in, fingers high, take a breath. Set the hands back onto the floor, step back to your downward facing dog. Hips shine high, inner arms hug to the ears. Find any movement that feels good for you. And then we'll take our lunge on our opposite side. Again, you can arrive there however you want to. If you want to lift up your left foot, 
guided in between. So we come to the beginning of our lunge right there. That's awesome. Maybe we arrive and we need a little movement, a little sway forward and back. Eventually we'll take our twist, lifting our left hand high. I'm really thinking about trying to stack the shoulders one on top of the other. The elbow and the wrist go right on top of both shoulders. And then take the hand back down. Navel in, hover up, broaden across the chest, open the hands, big inhale, head and chest upright. See if you can slide your ears a little bit higher. Think about pulling your inner thighs towards one another, squeezing near thut, both hands lift high. Three times, uh, oh my goodness, twist to the left, unravel. Exhale, twist to the left, unravel. Last time, twist. Bring it up, pause. Step back to your downward facing dog. Move the hips as you like. And we're going to come into a lizard pose. That's a lunge with a little more external rotation. So I'll again lift my right foot high, but when I step forward, I'm gonna step on the outside edge of my hand. It's almost like I'm hugging my knee into my arm. My arm pushes back into my knee. This might be perfect right here. We can stay. If you want a little deeper, you might drop your knee to the floor. I like to untuck my toes, so I put a little pressure into the top of my foot instead of my kneecap. But for me, this always feels very good in my hips. A little sway side to side can feel great. Kind of push my pubic bone further forward. Take a nice big inhale. Big breath out. Tuck the toe, lift the knee, return to your downward dog. Same thing other side, you can lift the foot up and again, I kind of step on the outside edge of my, uh, my left hand. A little sway, a little wiggle, and then do I want to drop the knee down? Or I could keep it lifted even if I did the other side. But arrive in that great big lizard pose or whatever lunge works best for you. Both sides, it can always feel different. I always find it feels good to kind of twist towards my left knee when I'm on this side. I don't really do that on the right side. Bodies can be a little imbalanced, friends. It's okay not to be perfectly even right and left. And we'll just find a child's pose after that. Roll yourself up to a seat and then we'll lie on our back. And again, if we've got our yoga strap, we will use it. If you don't, that's okay. You can just lift your foot up to the sky. I take the yoga strap around the ball of my foot. So not the arch, a little closer to the toes. And I like a big active flex at first. At first, heel up, toes pull towards the knee. And then I circle the leg around. And I'm really using more of my arms and the strap to circle my leg than the leg muscles. Circle in the opposite direction. It's more about just finding some movement in your ball and socket joint. And then pause. Your opposite leg can stay bent. You could straighten it if you find that when you straighten, you arch the back. I would say keep it bent. Do bend your right leg, pulling it into your chest and push it away. Bend it in, push it away. This time, bend it out towards your right shoulder. Push it up, gather it in your left hand. I like to take my right hand to my right hip so I know it's not going anywhere and just guide my leg across to the other side of my body. I like to sickle the toe, which just means to point my right toes kind of down towards my left shoulder. And I usually get a little bit of a stretch along the outside edge of my right calf. Take the foot back up, bring your opposite foot in, opposite foot out. And you can just start by circling it around. We might notice this side has more or less range of motion. Maybe it feels a little extra tight, that's okay. And then pause, give it a big flex, and just bend and straighten a few times. It's more about the mobility than it is about the deepest stretch you're getting through the back of the leg. And again, if you wanna to start to bring it out towards your left armpit, getting into your inner thigh, it's almost like a funny little half happy baby as I pull the knee almost down towards the ground, 
near the side of my left ribs. Lift it up, gather the band in your right hand, left hand to left hip while you guide it over. Let that go when you're ready. Just set the band off to the side. And knock the knees together. Take your hands overhead. Relax for a moment. Great big inhale. Big breath out. Slide your hands out to a T. Take a breath. Knock both knees over to the right for a twist. That can be as deep or shallow of a twist as you like. Take another breath. Let your knees swivel to the opposite side. Come back to center and pause. Find any spot that feels good for you. Start to wiggle your toes. Nod the head. Now you can, of course, stay in your Shavasana as long as you like, but as you feel ready to move on with your day, roll to one side, push yourself up to a seat. As always, my friends, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I am so incredibly happy to have you here this morning or afternoon or whenever it is you're joining me. Um, yeah, so I think that I'll start doing a few more live classes. Uh, I think the Thursday morning works well for my schedule, so I hope it does for you. Of course, you can always watch the replay. There's nothing you know, wrong with that. You can come and join me again anytime you like. Um, if you want to make sure you know about when I've got upcoming things like this, I usually post them in my Facebook group. I'd love you to join. Um, another fun announcement, I am working on a small seven day challenge. One of my amazing students mentioned that she was uh, struggling with some burnout recently and I have a lot of uh, practice with that currently. This past year has been healing from a lot of burnout from a past job. So I've got a seven day um, workout to heal from burnout challenge coming up for us this coming month in October. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't so you can find out all about that. Um, oh, and I've got a few comments. It's so nice to see you, friends. Thanks for joining me today. Let me know in the comments if you want to see anything in particular next week during our live class. I'm always happy to take suggestions. Otherwise, have a great rest of your Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday today. Have a good Thursday.